And when Ding Liren said that he had already bought the ticket for the candidates, all the drama is beginning. Uh, since I would like to uh, hide some preparation and uh, yeah, save some energy for, for candidates. Believe it or not, the chess prodigy gathered in the Madrid candidates tournament. Even Alareza is getting ready to set a fantastic record. Average rating of 2,772, ranks 4th out of 6 candidates since 2013. This is the figure of the magnificent eight to determine who will challenge Magnus Carlsen. One thing that is difficult for Ian Napomniakchi is overcoming the post-world champion challenger syndrome. After losing to Carlsen at the World Championships, Nepo had once in the final Meltwater Champion Chess Tour Air Things Masters but lost again to Carlsen. Then plunged in 8th position in Superbet Chess Classic Romania. Nepo shouldn't want his downtrend to continue. Here is Nepo's tournament's result diagram and his line chart rating and also a brief illustration of his last game in Superbet Chess Classic Romania. Like all the candidates, the Azerbaijani Timur Radjabov was also a child prodigy in the era of Garry Kasparov. His journey to the highest level was not over after winning the 2019 World Cup but this time Fidi gave him a wild card. But one important appearance before the candidate still doesn't show him as a warrior from the past. This young man is often associated with the record of the legend Bobby Fischer. Unimaginable, the rating ran fast past the fantastic 2,804 limit at the Fighty Grand Prix. Personally, Magnus Carlsen wants him to meet in the next World Championship, but Alareza Ferrugia has to go through this tournament first, which will be the toughest so far. Fabiano Caruana is one of the best and most solid today's players outside of Carlsen. Hard to find him moving from important positions in the tournaments. In fact, Caruana's rating has never missed the top four of Fidi for the last five years. Of course Fabi will be a dangerous barrier for anyone.
most dangerous dark horse is Jan Kristoff Duda, several times he proved something impossible for him like Oslo Esports Cup. So Madrid is the best time opportunity for him before being preceded by the younger Alareza. Here is Duda's tournament's result diagram and his line chart rating. It seems he's in the uptrend pattern. Only two steps for Hikaru Nakamura towards candidates, after being inactive from standard chess so his rating was frozen. The king of chess bullet and it feels like only Hikaru has approached the game in terms of talent, speed, thought. The charts and graphs can't be taken for granted. The successor of the Lyosh Portish and Peter Leko generation, Richard Rapport has consistently been near the top 10 fighty in the last two years, even on the June list he is already in 8th place. His chess approach tends to be speculative, so he is indeed a risk taker player. In general, Rapport seems to be getting stronger. The last runner to replace Sergei Karjakin who was sanctioned by Fidey, of course, Ding was the busiest among the candidates. Played and won four tournaments since March to reach world number two. Did all these coincidences lead to Ding who was twice championed by Garry Kasparov? Although a bit forced, Ding chart patterns and ratings show an uptrend. Like the previous candidate tournaments, which were always fierce and hard to predict, anybody can beat anybody. Complicated but the data above and a brief survey from Grandmasters, International Master, a well-known chess author and many others will show who are the most probably top three. And special thanks to the respondents.